Welcome Keith. back to News 12 Long Island. We're going to salute a, a very talented Long Islander right now, Dr. Gabriel Oyibo of Dix Hills, revising Einstein's famous theory of relativity. And his new calculations uh, has earned him a Nobel Prize nomination for physics this year. We are very pleased to have Dr. Oyibo with us. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. All right, science with has my, earned uh, him a Nobel Prize nomination. Gabriel Oyibo, unified field theory. It's an education based in quantum physics. The theory combines the works of both Einstein and Newton. Unified field theory blends math and science to give insight into the very basis of our existence. And now that people found mathematics to be worn around, as you know, mathematics is a language. Dr. Gabriel Ayibo has answers to the questions that puzzled Einstein right up until his death. He has unified the theories of electromagnetic force and gravity while incorporating quantum physics. But if you look beyond first glance, you see Dr. Ayibo's breakthrough is far more than numbers and equations. Dr. Gabriel Ayibo is a notable Nigerian mathematician and physicist known for his contributions to the field of theoretical physics, particularly his work on the Grand Unified Theorem. Oyibo's Grand Unified Theorem, often referred to as Gagut, God Almighty's Grand Unified Theorem, claims to unify the forces of nature under a single mathematical framework. His assertion is that he has discovered a fundamental equation that explains all of the laws of the universe. This ambitious claim would revolutionize our understanding of physics. Material things are supposed to be composed of atom. That's a concept by the ancient Africans, which was mispronounced atom by the Greeks and which later on will be mispronounced as Adam or Adamu. <laughs> One of Oyibo's more controversial and intriguing assertions is that hydrogen, the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, is fundamentally the only element. According to Oyibo, all other elements are derived from hydrogen. This perspective proposes a radical simplification of the periodic table, suggesting a more harmonious and unified structure of matter. Oyibo's work hints at an underlying unity in the universe, an idea that resonates with the quest for a unified theory in physics. This line of thinking aligns with historical efforts to find simplicity and order in the complex tapestry of scientific knowledge. The periodic table, traditionally seen as a structured representation of chemical elements, might be viewed through Oyibo's lens as a manifestation of hydrogen's different forms and configurations. This concept, though contentious within the mainstream scientific community, reflects a deeper philosophical quest for unity and simplicity in the natural world. Terence Howard, the acclaimed actor known for his roles in films such as Hustle and Flow and the television series Empire, has ventured into a parallel realm of scientific inquiry, echoing the spirit of Oyibo's work. You made huge headlines when you said, after you complete these 15 episodes of Empire, you gotta walk away for a while or forever? For good, I'm, I'm, I mean, everyone keeps trying to tell me, don't say it's forever but I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing when I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that you know Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world. Howard has been vocal about his belief in a new form of mathematics he calls teriology. He asserts that this system can reveal deeper truths about the universe, challenging conventional scientific paradigms. Mankind has been trying to decipher this one little thing called the flower of life. Now do you know the flower of life? Have you guys ever seen this before? 
Now you know this is one of the oldest symbols in um, human history, right? Or do you not know? This symbol was found in the Temple of Osiris in Egypt, and it had been molecularly burned into the wall. And it's 6,000 years old. This, this same symbol has been found in the, the forbidden temples in China, sitting under the fufu dogs. And the foot on it, the flower of life, saying whoever controlled that flower of life controlled the universe. There were secrets in that flower of life that da Vinci spent his whole life trying to uncover. There were secrets in that flower of life that Newton spent his whole life in secret trying to uncover. The same secrets that Pythagoras was desperately trying to uncover. But their problem was they kept seeing this in a two-dimensional space. They couldn't get it out of this two-dimensional frame. Howard's explorations involve geometric patterns and fundamental structures that he believes underpin reality. He has spoken about his fascination with the role of hydrogen and the idea of a fundamental unity in the universe, which mirrors Oyibo's assertions. Both Oyibo and Howard, in their own ways, challenge the established scientific doctrines and push the boundaries of accepted knowledge. Like Oyibo, Howard's ideas have faced significant skepticism from the mainstream scientific community. However, the spirit driving their work is remarkably similar. A profound desire to uncover a unified explanation of natural phenomena. This pursuit is not just scientific, but philosophical, aiming to bridge gaps in our understanding and to propose a more interconnected and harmonious view of the universe. In essence, Terence Howard's current endeavors can be seen as part of the same tradition of radical, visionary thought exemplified by Gabriel Oribo. Both men, from their unique perspectives, strive to question and expand our understanding of the fundamental principles that govern the cosmos. Whether or not their ideas gain acceptance, their work contributes to the ongoing dialogue about the nature of reality and the quest for a unified theory. Gabriel Oyibo's assertion that hydrogen is the only true element and the periodic table reflects its various manifestations, challenges conventional chemistry and physics. This hypothesis posits that all other elements are complex forms of hydrogen each representing a different configuration or state of this fundamental building block. Oyibo's Grand Unified Theorem seeks to provide a mathematical underpinning for this idea, suggesting that all physical laws and constants can be derived from a single equation. This approach not only aims to simplify our understanding of the material world, but also aspires to reveal a deeper harmony in the universe. Oyibo's work implies that the complexity we observe, whether in chemistry or physics, is a manifestation of an underlying simplicity. This vision resonates with the ancient philosophical notion that all diverse phenomena in the universe are expressions of a singular reality. Terence Howard, drawing inspiration from similar quests for fundamental truth, has delved into his own form of scientific and mathematical exploration. Howard's teriology is grounded in the belief that traditional mathematics and science have overlooked certain fundamental principles that could explain the structure and behavior of the universe in a more profound way. He often speaks about how his ideas are rooted in the nature of hydrogen and its role in the formation of matter reflecting Oyibo's assertion about the primacy of hydrogen. The flower of life that they took this from, but you'll see that instead of following the natural curvature of these 64 circles overlapping, they averaged the space where they, where they met and they invented straight lines. Mm. They in Why did they do that? because they believed that the world was flat. They believed the world was flat at the time. 
and the church promote it. Pythagorean theorem comes off of this cube, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So they wanted to use all of these intertwining circles and create straight lines. Because that's how they thought everything came down to straight lines. They thought the world was flat. And I was like, oh my goodness, they didn't open the flower properly. So the next one would be the icosahedron. Now the flower of life, it's very, very old. The concept is very old. What, what was the origin of the concept? It's the oldest symbol known to mankind. Howard's work is characterized by a focus on geometric patterns and relationships, which he believes can reveal hidden truths about the universe. His explorations are not purely academic, but are driven by a deep personal quest for understanding and a desire to contribute to human knowledge. Howard has shared that his mathematical constructs could potentially lead to new technological and scientific breakthroughs, echoing Oyibo's belief in the practical implications of his grand unified theorem. The connection between Oyibo's and Howard's work lies in their shared belief in a fundamental unity underlying the apparent diversity of the natural world, both driven by a vision of a harmonious universe, where the complexity we observe can be traced back to simple, elegant principles. This philosophical stance is reminiscent of the quest for a theory of everything in physics, a single framework that can explain all known physical phenomena despite the skepticism and controversy surrounding their ideas. Both Oyubo and Howard contribute to the broader discourse on scientific innovation and the nature of reality. They exemplify a willingness to challenge established paradigms and push the boundaries of conventional thought. Their work encourages others to think creatively and to question the assumptions that underpin our understanding of the universe. This vision resonates with the ancient philosophical notion that all diverse phenomena in the universe are expressions of a singular reality. They say that anything multiplied by one becomes that same number as itself. Well, the laws of physics has to break down in order for that to take place, action and reaction, for one times one to equal one. In comparison to if I said, um, what's a dollar times a dollar? Anybody know it's a dollar? Well, what's What's, what's a dime times a dime or 10 pence? 10 pence, yeah. 10 pence times 10 pence? That's, that's a pound, right? 10 pence times 10 pence? Is that right, honey? Yes. What about 100 pence times 100 pence? That's a dollar times, a pound times a pound, right? That's $100, ain't it? What about a quarter? What about four quarters times four quarters? That's a dollar, right? That's a pound, right? Well, that's $4. Now, all of these things are legal. The banks can say a dollar times a dollar is a dollar and give you that. Or the banks can say to a friend, a dollar times a dollar is a quarter times a quarter. Is that fair? And I might get shot about talking about this right now, but I've got a book coming out called, does a dollar times a dollar equal a dollar or does a dollar times a dollar equal two dollars? And in the process, not only do I explain the death of the platonic solids, but I also introduce the new Terrian wave conjugations that replace this Euclidean way of life and gives us a three-dimensional way of seeing the world. Terence Howard, drawing inspiration from similar quests for fundamental truth, has delved into his own form of scientific and mathematical exploration. Howard's teriology is grounded in the belief that traditional mathematics and science have overlooked certain fundamental principles that could explain the structure and behavior of the universe in a more profound way. He often speaks about how his ideas are rooted in the nature of hydrogen and its role in the formation of matter, reflecting Oibo's assertion about the primacy of hydrogen. Howard's work is characterized by a focus on geometric patterns and relationships, which he believes can reveal hidden truths about the universe. His explorations are not purely academic, 
but are driven by a deep personal quest for understanding and a desire to contribute to human knowledge. Howard has shared that his mathematical constructs could potentially lead to new technological and scientific breakthroughs, echoing Oibo's belief in the practical implications of his grand unified theorem. The connection between Oibo's and Howard's work lies in their shared belief in a fundamental unity underlying the apparent diversity of the natural world. Both are driven by a vision of a harmonious universe where the complexity we observe can be traced back to simple, elegant principles. This philosophical stance is reminiscent of the quest for a theory of everything in physics, a single framework that can explain all known physical phenomena. Despite the skepticism and controversy surrounding their ideas, both Oyibo and Howard contribute to the broader discourse on scientific innovation and the nature of reality. They exemplify a willingness to challenge established paradigms and push the boundaries of conventional thought. Their work encourages others to think creatively and to question the assumptions that underpin our understanding of the universe. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. May you keep searching for the truths of life. I certainly will. Because I am Maya. You are Maya. So may we awaken together in this Maya matrix.